Hi, and welcome to the Global Education Group CME video blog, where we address emerging hot topics on the CME enterprise and share them with you. Today, we're going to be talking about non-CME strategies for CME success. For those of you who are accredited providers, you may remember this as ACCME Criterion 17, what they call non-education strategies. We call them non-CME strategies because many times these strategies actually involve educational activities. They're just not certified for CME. These are great for extending the CME message or even driving it deeper into a physician's practice. So what we want to do today is just share simply with you three examples of non-education strategies that may benefit your knowledge of CME or your actual CME program. The first type would be those that include a resource center. And a resource center is a place, usually on the web, where physicians and often patients can go to find inform information on standards, frequently asked questions, and other issues uh, that demonstrate best practices. Now, these types of uh, resource centers are really great where therapeutic uh, standards or therapies are emerging or where hands-on practices require improvement. Now, a second type of non-CME strategy we want to talk about are simply patient reminders, or what we call a did-you-know sheet. And that usually has a link to a patient advocacy organi organization within the sheet. Could be paper or electronic. And these are great for disease or treatment areas where early diagnos diagnosis or patient adherence or compliance is a critical issue. Last, the third type of non-CME strategy we want to talk about are patient surveys. Now, Global has worked closely with our partner Clinical and Patient Educators Association to do quite a few different patient surveys uh, in several different therapeutic areas. Now, these types of surveys are really great because they empower the patient to actually drive future education. Now, for example, one patient survey we did, um, when we asked patients with MS how many times their medication had been changed, 21% stated that it had been changed more than four times since, since initial diagnosis. And so uh, a second example would be in the area of diabetes. And what we found out is that only about half of the diabetes patients that we surveyed stated that they were taking their medication directly as it was prescribed. And most of these folks stated that they were not communicating this information with their physician or specialist. Obviously, that's a problem. And so wherever a problem in healthcare exists, there's an opportunity for CME to bridge the gap and hopefully uh, address the problem and in some ways solve that problem. Uh, so CME really is, you know, provides this, this key opportunity for, for improvement in the healthcare field. As always, if you have any questions about CME topics, including non-CME strategies, feel free to contact us here at globaleducationgroup.com. For Global, I'm Stephen Lewis. Have a great day.